Okay, this very quick video, I just want to show you where to locate your special characters in InDesign. Super easy. Uh, well, so I'm going to show you two things. So you come on into type and you come on down to insert special character and there they are. Huh. So if you come down here and you see that you can't select them, the reason is, is because you need to first grab your text tool and create a text box. So let's take a look at some of these characters that are in here. We come to type, we go to insert special character. And we can see we have symbols. We have the copyright symbol. And there's a lot more. Type, insert special character. We can do hyphens and dashes. We can do quotation marks. Um, you know, double left quotation marks. All right, so there's a lot of different options inside of here. And let me make these bigger so we can see them a little bit better because they're tiny. 36, all right. So um, there's quite a bit of things inside of here. Oops. And as you're looking for them, this is where you want to go. I'm gonna come back to my type tool and let's take a look at a couple more. So coming on into type, insert special character symbols. We have, you know, a paragraph symbol um, and just a lot of different stuff inside there. I think that, you know, this is a good place to come. You can even do insert a white space. Um, you can insert non-breaking spaces. You can insert a hair space. Um, so this might be like this whole idea of, oh, why do I want to insert a hair space? Well, you can also do that through like tracking and kerning. Um, but sometimes you may find yourself doing it over in here. Uh, so let's see. So I, I think that that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to end there. Another thing would be bullets and numbered lists. You can apply bullets. You can define lists. There's a lot of different tools right inside of here. Thanks so much.